All right, my friends, we have got some big news dropping today. Obviously, the General Grievous stuff does seem to be hitting the hollow tables right away. We've got a post here, the content update for 2 slash 20 coming out, and it's got General uh, Grievous's reworked kit. Uh, Droidica is going to be hitting here pretty soon, and IG-88 Magna Guard's re rework as well, which is going to be rounding out the Separatist droid rework. But something that is very significant Significant in here that definitely needs to be called out is we've got Juhani and Karth finally going farmable and here are the locations my friends Juhani is now available on light side battles 9a hard Ju Juhani will replace Luminara uh, the character currently on light side uh, 6a hard um, is anybody uh, disappointed about that? Uh, not me. <laughs> uh, Luminar will continue to be farmable in Dark Side 2E and Light Side uh, 3D and Galactic War Store. So, in case you want to farm uh, Luminar on hard nodes. <laughs> and then Karth is going to be farmable in Fleet Battles 2E hard. And he is also an addition to Fleet Battles 2E hard that does not replace any possible rewards currently there. And so I'm actually a bit surprised that um, out of this group, both of these are not 20 energy nodes. Karth is on uh, Fleet 2E, but Juhani is going to be 6A, which is only going to be a 16 energy farm. And so if you guys have been farming um, the other two KOTOR characters, your Bastila Fallen and your Candorous, you should be able to focus pretty heavily on these characters. Now, there is a lot of speculation out there right now, and so I want you guys to take what I'm about to get into with a grain of salt, but I think it's a pretty valuable grain of salt. Uh, we had something drop the other day. I'm not going to get quite into it, but let's just say it seemed to pretty strongly indicate that we are going to be having Darth Revan coming to the game pretty soon. That might be true. That might not. I am kind of led to believe it. And so if that is the case, the characters that make the most sense to be used for that are going to be uh, Juhani, Karth, Bastila Fallen, and Candorous Ordo. Not necessarily in the lore. I know there's a lot of ambiguity on would these guys even make sense with Darth Revan. Um, maybe yes, maybe no. I'm not a lore expert. But they are the four KOTOR characters we have that could be used to create a panic farm for Darth Revan. Revan. And so right now, my friends, if you want Darth Revan, if you want to have him win slash if he comes, farm these characters right now. Yesterday, you should have been farming Candrus and Basla if you haven't been already. Um, but if you, assuming you do have those characters, I would do everything you can to blitz Karth and Juhani. Very, very likely, my friends, that those four will be needed for whatever comes up after Grievous. Now, I want to also state Grievous is going to have a ton of value. A lot of you are maybe concerned, should I invest in Grievous anymore because of this stuff? And I'm going to suggest that yes, you should. Just maybe save your crystals for the energy refreshes you need to farm the characters. The reason for that is you can always farm the gear later for Grievous, for Magna Guard, Droidica, etc. Assuming you're not taking Droidica and B1 to uh, 7 stars, you can farm those shards later and you're still going to have those characters at your disposal. Assuming that we are getting Darth Revan here um, sometime soon, which based on all four of these characters now being farmable, I'm guessing is not going to be too, too long from now, you only have one shot at getting that character. And so my current approach is I am gearing up my Separatist droids all the way. I've almost got Grievous to gear 12. I've almost got, uh, let's see, uh, my Magna Guard sitting close to gear eight. <laughs> I know, I still got a ways to go on him. And then I'm working on B2. B1 and Droidica are going to be next. And obviously remains to be seen what the best comp is. But my crystals, which I've been stockpiling for this kind of event, I am going to now pour into both Karth and Juhani because I am guessing that the plan here is going to be to give us not quite as much time to get those guys ready. And so, my friends, I'm encouraging you, 
farm those characters. I'm giving you that advice right now. If I end up being wrong, then you know what? I can I can take that, and you guys can come yell at me if you farm these characters for nothing. Um, I'll own that, and I'll apologize to you. I've been wrong before, and sometimes you farm characters. You think something's coming, and it doesn't. That is a possibility. This is not concrete knowledge. I don't have any inside information you guys don't have. I am just looking at what is out there in the public right now, and it seems so likely to me that these four characters are going to be needed at seven stars. Now they are farmable, and so now is the time, my friends, to jump on that farm and get on this. Now that I've beaten a dead horse on Darth Revan, there is something else very interesting in this post that I did want to highlight. We now have the pack probabilities included in here. So let's click on this. This is new and something that I've always thought would be really important to bring to the game uh, just because that transparency is important. So check this out. The probability for getting five shards is going to be 17% on those marquee packs. 330 shards you have a 0.1 percent chance and so it's really low like we thought but here's something that i think is really interesting i wonder if this is a typo because it says you've got a 0.02 percent chance for a 230 pull but a 0.1 percent chance for a 330 pull so you're you've got a better chance at pulling 330 than you do 230 and the same chance as you do on uh 145 Ship marquee packs are pretty similar. 17.44% for five shards. That's the same. Uh, scanning over this, 330 is also the 0.1 and the, the same kind of spread. And then you've also got the probabilities for everything else in here for the materials. There is a lot of information in here, my friends. But notice this is not just for this event. I would bookmark this because this is also going to go into all of the packs in the whole game. We've got character packs, we've got Schick faction packs, the Ewok Night Sister faction packs, um, you've got uh, faction mega packs, you've got your fleet data card, you've got your fleet mega pack, um, your chromiums uh, for the shards there, your light side and dark side chromiums. Um, just, oh my goodness, all of this information in here that I thought would be proprietary for quite a long time is now published. And so I would definitely recommend spending some time going in here and reading through this. There's a lot of enlightening information in there. All right, my friends, I hope this video was helpful for you. The TLDR, farm the Old Republic characters, farm them now. You do not want to be the person on the outside waiting. Something I'm really pleased about, assuming that this is leading to like Darth Revan or something of the, of the sort, is we've had a little bit more time this time around to farm these characters. Um, when it came to Darth Revan, I was farming Bastila and I think it was Jolie, um, right when they went farmable and there are two others that were, a couple others that were needed. And I would see T3M4, um, etc. And I was just nowhere near having enough even though I'd been farming right from when they went farmable. I have been farming Bastila and Kandra since they went farmable and I almost have both of them at seven stars and both of these characters are in pretty reasonably you know 16 energy and a 20 energy node maybe not the easiest but um, it seems like the the wall to get there is going to have a little bit less of a dollar sign on it probably going to need to spend some money if you haven't been hoarding crystals like like I have been doing and I know some of you guys have been doing uh, but still definitely feels like it's been a little more attainable so naturally let me know what some of your thoughts are down in the comments below are you going to get what might be coming next are you completely sold on the general grievous stuff let me know and i will be testing out my friends what is going to be the best general grievous comp and what are going to be the best counters on defense i'm going to be working with mobile gamer on that here tomorrow night that well i'm going to be filming tomorrow so look look for videos maybe friday and saturday on that good stuff coming your way exciting times in this game thanks again for joining my friends and as always my brothers don't forget my dead body sorry about the mess